Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we're totally checking out the brand new Hasbro Ghostbusters Plasma Series Ecto-1. The new Ecto-1, new used loosely from the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie that's finally going to be coming out this year. Fingers crossed, nice photos all around, nice packaging, huge paragraph here with <laughs> just one sentence and it's... So, yeah, you can screen grab that if you want. But really nicely detailed out. Shows you all the inner workings here and there. A couple accessories to kind of apply to the actual Ecto-1. This is a Target exclusive. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. And you can get it online right now on their app. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of ectoplasm. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro 2020-2021 Ghostbusters Afterlife Ghostbusters Plasma Series, the Ecto-1. And of course, like I said, you pull everything out of the box. You got the car, you have a bunch of accessories. Make sure you look at the box because there's no instruction booklet inside that tells you where each individual piece goes. Yeah, you can infer from yourself, kind of, sort of. I mean, I kind of know the Ecto-1, I'm sure. But yeah, once you have it all together, again, look at the box to really make sure you're fitting every piece every which way, but it looks great. This is a fantastic looking Ecto-1, one that's based off how it looks in the new Afterlife movie, or at least that's how we're to infer it from the trailer. It's been sitting in a barn for a number of years. Rust has settled in, aka the kind of working title for Ghostbusters 3 was Rust City, so that's kind of cool. But I guess in some instances, you should see more deterioration. Maybe like a window's cracked, or the license plate is kind of falling. You know, something to that degree. Because while I give it to them all day, the front of the car, the sides, all really has that really nice rustage going on. On top, it kind of loses that element. So it's really kind of rusted up on the bottom of the car, but towards the top, not so much. So I really wish the deco would have continued up there but again it's a great looking ecto-1 and in some ways it's kind of sad to see it like this the no ghost logos all tattered and torn the front it's kind of like the first version of ecto-1 where ray pulls it up in front of the firehouse and peter's like you can't park that here but every little detail is there and i appreciate that maybe not every single thing but i'll tell you for the most part it's got nice paint to it it's got nice deco the sculpt is gorgeous once you go in the car it's got great things. The top part, it has all of Egon's, Gizmo's, gadgets. You got the tubes and the antennas. You can see through the car really, really nicely to see everything inside on the back. Again, the crinklage, the crustage of everything that the Ecto-1 would inherit from sitting inside a barn. It's just the details on this that really make it. And for $50, for a nice, really well done prop, car something to sit on your desk for your ghostbusters collection the price is there i'll tell you all day it's very very nice we'll get into how it kind of applies to the plasma series in just a few but even the tires are nice it's got dirtiness on the hubcaps it's fantastic and the good part is is that the doors do open not all the doors but at least this many do and it has the gunner's chair from the new afterlife trailer as well and if you don't want to be spoiled, stop. But I'm not going to go too heavy into it. It's little things that would kind of sort of make you go, oh, okay, I didn't know that, but it's not going to be anything detrimental. But the seat will spin. It will pull out. There is a molded-on proton pack with a little bit of red on it. really wish all four of them were colored red. you got the steering wheel. You've got the inside, the glove compartment area. you got the little box on top. You have this new thing, and it's kind of cool. You have a removable ghost trap that's situated like on a race car. Four-wheeler ghost trap. That's got nice deco to it. As you can see on the bottom, it does hook in to where it's placed inside the trunk. Here it is next to a six-inch plasma series ghost trap. You can see the size difference. So I'm kind of hinting at the fact this is not going to scale well. But you pull the trap out, and you can see the dirtiness again. Oil, maybe, just dirt and grime. All of Egon's machines, again, they're all painted nicely. All the gizmos, the diodes, they all have little paint here and there. And I like that you can see that through the actual Ecto-1. Now, here's where it's cool. You got the RTV, right? You have the remote trap vehicle. That's probably what this little ghost trap thing is. And then another box says Neutrona 1. 
getting photos of this is a pain. So bear with me. But it's cool. And all the deco looks good. And as in the front seat, you can see the steering wheel, the seat, the detail, the deco. I kind of wish it had electronics. You know, that'd be really cool to push a button. Hear the Ghostbusters siren. That would have really made it. The underside doesn't really have much. It kind of reminds me of the Kenner Ecto-1. To be honest, even when holding it, it kind of has that same ricketiness of it. Not to say that this isn't solid, but it kind of makes the same noise with the tires. It's kind of cool. And then here's all the jargon, technical jargon for this. But just to kind of show you, because I know you'll be asking, it rolls really nicely. It is a car. It has four tires and it works appropriately as a car would. The front door opens. It's kind of hard to kind of get your finger underneath there. But here's the problem. The steering wheel doesn't move. It doesn't turn. I really wish it did that, to be quite honest with you. This little gizmo up here, ghost tracker, whatever it is, that'll move. The antennas are all flexible. They'll work with you. Just be careful. You don't want to snap anything. They are kind of like a harder plastic. These doors will open as well. You can see inside and you can pull the gunner's chair out and that'll twist and rotate, move around. Even the little side thing, which I'm guessing is a Neutrona wand, will move around. So that's kind of cool as well. It's just all as fixed to the actual gunner seat. Flipping it around towards the back. Again, you get to see the trunk. That opens as well. That'll swivel. You get to see everything inside. You can go ahead, pull the ghost trap on wheels out, which is... Interesting. I bet you that'll be a big part of the movie, methinks. But you got the Ecto-1, and here it is lined up with other Ecto-1s of the past. Extreme Ghostbusters by Trendmasters and the classic Ghostbusters Kenner Ecto-1. They're all about the same size. The Trendmasters one is a little bit longer, but in terms of making it fit Ghostbusters... It's not going to work with you. This is under the Plasma series, but the Plasma series 6-inch Ghostbusters will not fit, unfortunately, which makes me think the Plasma series is a larger spectrum of screen accuracy and just collector mentality. If you're wondering about the real Ghostbusters, they scale just a little bit better, but you're not going to be able to situate them at all inside the car. Now, what figures will actually fit? Well, I tried a number of different ones, and to be quite honest with you, from what I found, the new Marvel Legends 3-inch Secret Wars kind of styled figures will fit. The problem, though, is the steering wheel is so close to the seat. Like, I can barely fit my finger underneath there. So it's not a natural progression like you'd be able to put a figure, like the old Kenner Ecto-1. You really have to, like, push the figure in there and fidget around and get the leg wrapped around. Once you do, it kind of works. I think the steering wheel is a little bit low. That's nitpicking, to be honest, because you can fit them in there. This is the type of figure that's going to fit in the Ecto-1. The same height. This is what I think will scale. You can have both figures inside driving. That's cool. So, if, in fact... Hasbro were to do a smaller line Ghostbusters, which they have not talked about nor confirmed nor anything, so treat it strictly as a rumor. That's really the size you could do. Fortnite figures don't even really fit. There's only so much room to where the pedals are for the legs as well. It is basically this type size of figure that's going to fit in there. And I'm glad that I have them just to be able to show you. You can put them on the gunner's chair as well. Have someone inside the passenger seat. It looks good. They fit good. So if at any point they want to do figures like that, that would be fantastic because that's what's going to fit with this specifically styled 118th scale Ecto-1. And it's great. And if you don't want to put figures in there just as standalone, it's still a great vehicle as well. Pairing it up with the old Ecto-2, Highway Haunter, it's cool to have all these together. So if you're a huge Ghostbusters fan, you know, put all the ghosts with it. This is what I think is a missed opportunity. You have a really nice Ecto-1, and they should have put a, and a ghost with them. Not Slimer, like a new ghost one. That would have been really cool. And if you have the Kenner playset, the old firehouse basically does the exact same thing. Almost to the exact scale sort of deal with Kenner. Fits in, the tires fall back. You can have it bust through the doors if you really want to. It's a little bit smaller compact, but hey. It fits. So my final thoughts on it is this. For 50 bucks, you're getting a awesomely, really nicely detailed Ecto-1 straight from Ghostbusters Afterlife. I really wish the fourth door would open. Can we get an Ecto-1? I know that Blitzway and they do all those fantastic larger scaled Ectos. 
can we just get one that has four doors and fits Ghostbuster figures? Can we just do that? Kenner had no problem doing it. It was only two door, but this is a missed opportunity to scale it with the six inch. It's $50 for this. If they would have done it for a hundred or 120 and been able to put the actual afterlife slash 1984 Ghostbusters inside, that would have been great. Maybe you got new characters coming, put them on the gunner's chair like in the trailer. That would have been great. It's the Plasma series, I think, only in terms of really nicely detailed movie accurate. Fitting it with 6-inch Ghostbuster figures that have come before, Kenner, it's not going to happen. If at any point in the future that has not been talked about nor confirmed and Hasbro does a smaller scale Ghostbuster line to fit this, which... We don't know if they're going to do that. This is, again, probably just to do an Ecto-1. Awesome. That would be fantastic if you could do that. But in the meantime, it's nicely painted. It's nicely done. Little pieces here and there. The ghost trap comes out. It's fantastic. Love the gunner's chair. It's a nice piece of Ghostbusters merchandise to put on your shelf. And for 50 bucks, with how detailed it is, it's fantastic. So I definitely recommend picking it up if you're a Ghostbusters fan. If not, it's up to you. But I'm gonna curious to know what you guys think about this. Comment below, let me know, and let's talk everything Ghostbusters Afterlife. Who's excited for the movie? I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, just let the movie be good. Please, God, let it be good, and we get more Ghostbusters toys and cartoons and all the kids can go, Ghostbusters is back, and it gets the same treatment as all these other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and He-Man and everything else getting really nice toys. Ghostbusters deserves the same exact deal. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.